Hello, everyone. <laughs> it's unsolicited, and I am Security Boss. It is Friday night, guys. I hope you all are feeling very, very well. It's going to be a good Friday night because I got some, I got a surprise, not a surprise. I've been telling you all week, but tonight is the night that we actually tell who the Bachelorette is. So it's coming full circle, guys. So I choose you. It's on the way. It will be here in April. We haven't given any particular dates or not because each week we're going to have updates on Security Boss Unsolicited's channel. So all you got to do is subscribe to the channel, click that uh, notification bell to get them updates. And it's going to tell you exactly how you can apply. And every week you'll get some information. But what we're doing is we're going to choose um, 20 eligible bachelors, right? We got this one bachelorette for now. And we decided today that um, it's season one, actually season one is a bachelor ret and a bachelor. So that would be all of season one. So we're just not going to do, you know, we're not going to go into season two unless we have a man and a female. OK, so it's going to be fun. But tonight we actually learn who she is and she's going to just say a little bit just to get y'all excited. So y'all can see what you're, what you're competing for. Right. <laughs> this is going to be so funny. Virtual dating. Have fun. Oh, that's exciting. But anyway, I just wanted to tell y'all that. So it's more to come tonight for I Choose You. And if you got any, you know, questions, if you want to ask, y'all go to my DMs, Security Boss Unsolicited, just ask questions. But definitely, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do. It's unsolicited, Security Boss Unsolicited. When you come into the live tonight, make sure you give me a thumbs up. You know, we get so into these conversations, we forget to hit the thumbs up button. Y'all make sure y'all do that. And thank you so much for the ones who have subscribed. And thank you so much for your comments. I really appreciate them. Want to tell you a little bit about what's going on right now. And then I'm going to say hello to all my, my SB Nation that's already tuned in. But just in case y'all don't know, when you do the Super Chats, I will read all the Super Chats. But the, the Money Line song comes with a $9.99 Super Chat and up. So if you want to hear the money line or if you think we're getting a little bit boring or whatever the situation is, you might have to extend a $9.99 super chat. I'm just saying, you don't have to. Yeah, that's, that'll do it. Now I get our mind off all our problems. We get to move our shoulders. You like that, y'all? $9.99, get you that. <laughs> and, then we, and then we move on. <laughs> so anyway, um, just wanted to let y'all know that. Um, a little later on the show, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, I Choose You and we'll move on with other things. But how about this? Hank, how are you? B-A-G. I understand and know what it is now. Black Alpha Group. <laughs> I like that. Hey, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, I want to thank you for being such a good sport the other day. You did a very, very good job. Whoa. How you doing, Black Man? How are you? I'm here. I see you. Patrice. How are you? Hope you're doing well. We haven't seen you in a while, but I hope you're doing good. Any of you others that are coming in, Mr. Steele, I hope you're doing well. Mr. Steele, you something else. I saw you last night. You had some, uh, what was it? Bone thugs. You had, <laughs> you do the words to bone thugs. You funny. <laughs> Canadian born. How are you? It's good to see you. Uh, Bluebird. Hello. Good to see you. Glad to have you here. If you haven't yet um, subscribed to the channel, please do. If y'all have any questions, tonight is the night to ask the beautiful lie. Thank you. What's good? Good people. Nice promo for the dating show, Security Boss. Keep it elevated. Listen, that is my, I should name my, that should be my middle name. Unsolicited, unsolicited, elevated Security Boss. I like that. But listen, this is SB Nation and hello, Stephen Day. Where you been? You be here every time. I'm just kidding with you. I see you all the time. And I thank you so much for your support. I really do. Steven, you be you be there. Um, Beautiful Life says, what good, good. Okay. Oh, same one. But anyway, um, thank you guys for all that you do and all your support. This this welcome to SB Nation. And tonight is Gender Talks. And y'all know what we do on Gender Talk. I definitely, I like that, Shug. <laughs> like, man, you silly. Lou Casely, how are you? Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to see you all. Ine, hello. Mandrell, Mandrell, what's going on with you, buddy? I hope you're doing well tonight. Listen, I am so glad. I thank you all for your support. I'm glad you're here. It's Friday night. Captain Executive, listen, y'all, listen, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned because we're going to announce the uh, Bachelorette. I hope you all are here to see exactly who she is. I don't know exactly what time we're going to do that, but... um. We will do that very soon. And you all will know. And I hope 
that prompts all you eligible bachelors to put your name in the hat so we can have some fun when it comes time to vetting and judging and the you know let in the comment section the chats let them also like pick you apart <laughs> and find out who's telling the truth and who will be the worthy candidate every week. Uh, the worthy contestant, I should say. So anyway, tonight, you know, it's still gender talks, but um, y'all know y'all free to speak, ask questions on whatever it is you, you want to you wanna know or wh wh whatever direction we want to go in. Um, I had one thing I want to mention. And the thing I'm going to mention is the title of the show is Should Women Advise Grown Men? Now. Recently, it's been a big thing about women um, in this space. Y'all know that we've talked about it a little bit about women being in this space and how uh, if you're advocating for men, you, you kind of automatically a, a, a manosphere, a manosphere uh, participant, which is not true, you know, but I get it. I understand what they're being, what's being said. Um, but lately, there's been some talk about uh, it not being too safe for, I shouldn't say that. The question is, should men listen to women? Because, you know, we be advocating for y'all. We want y'all to be great. I know I do. I want y'all to be great leaders. I want all of y'all. No, what? you shouldn't listen to me. Oh, my goodness, Emmanuel. So um, Emmanuel says, no, Emmanuel, you know, I want to hear what you have to say. But just hold that thought. So anyway, um, should we listen? You know, should men actually listen to women, uh, give you advice on whatever, I suppose, because when we have these platforms, just like my pl platform and a couple others, River and uh, probably um, Crip Crimson Cure, probably all of us that, that actually um, support men, you all are probably the most that are in our um, on our platforms. You support us. So therefore, um, Mr. C, how are you? Therefore, you all would be the ones listening to us. And Someone said that may not be a good thing to do because not all men are mature enough to be able to distinguish the information that is coming from a woman versus a man. And I agree with that, too. So let me just give you all my take and then I am going to open up the lines and y'all can tell me what y'all think. And then um, in a minute, we're going to get the bachelorette to come on up and say who she is. All right. So, Miss Creative, how are you? Good to see you. You know what? You be going uh <laughs> <laughs> you'll be in that chat. I'm telling you, you do. I really must meet you one day. Hopefully tonight is that day. If you're not busy, I would love to meet you a little bit more personal and say hello. But anyway, um, let me tell you about this. And this is just true. So ladies, I want y'all to hear this. Women who advocate for men and myself included, I do not leave myself out in any way. It is written that we should not, women should not ever try to um, have any, any type of authority over men. That's not right. And when I'm giving advice to young men or whomever's listening, I'm, that is not my goal ever to have any type of authority over any man or any man. What I'm here for is um, tell you just like this. I've been married a very long time, long time, be 27 years this year. And what's happened is for me, I was lucky to have a husband who was with me. Right. And he's my covering and he's my leader. And he has given me um the, the go ahead or the OK to go ahead and tell our story and our experiences so I can easily share with you my experience of being married and being successfully married over that length of time. I can tell you some of the things that he has told me, some of the things he thinks about, and I can definitely share with you some of the things that I have thought about and wanted in within my marriage. So I'm always coming from a, a, a place of having a successful marriage and from what a woman wants in a man and what I would like to see in a man. So that's my position. So if you want that, then that's what I'm sharing with you. I'm not ever trying to be over you per se. I'm just sharing my life with you because I've done some things in my marriage, good and bad, and I'm here successfully. And you know, if y'all haven't figured out yet, security boss wants every excuse me, available man and woman that wants to be married. I want you all to be married. And I want to share with you all how it can be successful because it's such a negative thing in this world, especially in this, these platforms, this YouTube space. Gosh, I mean, we talk about marriage like it's a plague. So I'm coming to you from a different direction. You know, I want to, I want to uplift marriage, show you and share with you that it can be good. And my husband has given me my covering 
has given me permission to do so. So everything I'm sharing with you is my life. I'm not trying to um, do anything different. It's just my life and the, the struggles that we've gone through. I tell uh, women, see, I would I would love, I've said this from the beginning, way back about five, six, six months ago. I would love to converse with women. I would love to share with them how I got here. I would love to share with them all the accomplishments that I've had in life things that were hard for me, the growing pains that I went through in marriage. I would love to share that with women. And guess what? I do have some women that listen. But for the most part, the women don't listen or they don't tune in because I have a I have a different message. My message is of women and being in order. You know, I live my life like that. I'm not chaotic in any way. Um, and I, don't, beloved. I don't want women to be chaotic. Anyway. I like peace. You know, so I'm I'm serving up that. <laughs> That's what Dearly I come beloved. with, peace. And I know women, we are emotional. So we we don't, you know, peace is not so much our strong suit sometimes. So I talk and speak a little different. Like I can see it from both sides. I can see it from both sides because I've been married so long. And in the beginning of my marriage, I had lots of growing pains and I had to understand my husband. I had to read those books. I had to say those prayers. I had to ask for that discernment. I had to ask for that wisdom. I did it. Um, and I want every woman to know that wants to be married, that that is the key to being married. You know, you have to learn your husband. You have to adjust to he, to he, to who he is. Kenya Scott. Yes. Peace. Emmanuel order is the key. Order is always the key. But see, sometimes we fail on the order because sometimes when men give the order, it's not attractive. Right. It's not attractive. <laughs> it's not attractive. It'd be like, shut the hell up. You know, don't know. I want to hear that. So but when I give the order, it's like, girl, just come in there looking cute. Same thing. Right. <laughs> there's a way. There's a way. So um, there's a way. And we can communicate with each other because I've been through it. So that's the position I'm coming from. But men, I'm letting you know there at no time should there be any woman um, being authority or taking authority over you. I'm giving the modern day the best way. I Listen, listen, black man, you understand me though. So again, there at no time. So please don't be fearful to hear what security boss is saying because I'm coming to you from a place of a married woman who is a successfully married woman. And also, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but my husband sits here right here with me in front of me and we bounce this message or whatever I'm saying to you all Every day, all day. It always comes from conversations that he and I have had or incidents that we have had along the way. But please don't stop listening because you're feeling uh, torn because someone may be telling you that it's not good for you to hear from a woman. I'm at my, The advice I'm giving you is from a married woman and I'm giving it to you from a perspective of something I've done. You know, I'm, I've done and I and, and if, if it's what you want, I can tell you exactly a way to give that woman what she wants and what to look for in that woman. Because, you know, I, I was there. I am that woman and I'm 26 years, oh, 27 years this year later. So that that's my advice point. So, you know, I would say there will come a time if, if you're not ready yet to hear from a woman, there will be a time in your life that you will grow up and be able to hear from a woman because um, men need advocates. You know, men need women advocates because, that's 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 the whole package. A mom, a woman and a man or a man and a woman that get together. So there's no way a man can do it on its own. You know, you all can give another uh, give a young man the structure that he needs. You can give him the maturity. Pray to God that you're giving him the wisdom and the respect, because that's where we fail a lot. Um, the respect. And I must tell you, I mean, I don't know if I'm out of order with this or not, but I, I push that men need to be more respectful to each other. Um, I see a lot in these YouTube streets that men, y'all are having trouble giving each other respect. I want all men to be valued. I push for women to value men. And we have to get back to that. We have to see that we uh, need to be elevated. We have to see that we're we're more important than an argument. We have to understand, too, that I'm not out to get you. And that's the part I think we struggle with. You know, I think we struggle with that. Not everybody is out to hurt you. And we, if we can get to that back to that frame of mind, then we can we can definitely put this thing back in order. Because like um, Emmanuel said, and I said to order is 
it, order is the answer. Um, Kenya Scott says, I'm here to learn. Thank you. Thank you so much. And then we have on, um, is it Daya B? Can you bring him on? Can you bring him on one day? Who exactly is him? My husband? Oh, yeah. One day we might do that. But see, let me tell you this. I'm probably going to be one of them only people that sit up here. You never see me do anything with my hands. And the reason why that is is because my husband is behind the scene. He does it all. So if we can figure out a way, probably, that he can be in front of the camera and still do everything that he does, and then I can do what I do, then we might do it. Because <laughs> I do know it, one, that one day you all might want to meet him. And he probably wants to stick his head around the camera sometime and say, hello. He's saying he's shaking his head now. No, he wants to be behind the camera. I don't know. But anyway. I do think that you all will meet him, especially if you're a part of SB Nation. There will come a time where we all will meet um, and you all will see him and he'll be there and you'll know who Mr. Boss is. <laughs> but guess what, y'all? It'll be our little secret. See, listen, let me see it like this. He my security, right? He my covering. Remember? Security covering. And you can't always let everybody know what your security look like. Because, you know, just in case something jump off, he's got, you know, this man coming from the right hand side over here. Everybody don't need to know how he coming. They just, you know, but if they knew who he was, they might be anticipating it and they may move to the left. So we have to do that. Oh, the order is the answer. I just start shouting in this car. I'm <laughs> black man. You're so funny. <laughs> Mandrell, you Mandrell says what well, black men unfiltered does it all the time. So no excuses, Mr. Mr. Bob does what? I'm, I'm lost on this conversation. Let me get out. I'm not paying y'all attention right now, but I thank y'all for being here. Bravo, Sheila. Hello. How are you? If I did not say hello to you, forgive me. I will. Once I see your um, comments in this comments, I will definitely shout you out. Do you like my earrings? Miss Creative, you're something else. Miss Creative, I love your name. You know what? I'm just going to tell you, this is a sidebar. I'm all off subject right now, but I got to tell you this. I thought about you the other day and I said, I bet Miss Creative is a hairstylist. So you got to let me know if I'm telling the truth or not. And you, I was just, you just on my mind. I have no idea who you are, but I would just love to know, are you a hairstylist? Um, Ms. Graves says, it's unsolicited boss. I am, I am like your husband. Keep it low key. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Talk crap. No, he don't talk crap. <laughs> That's all you, Miss Creative. That is all on you. But I understand what you're saying. Oh, uh, Oh, an artist. Okay. She might be, but I had her on my mind the other day and that's just so weird. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. Women, the women who are in this space that I advocate for men, continue to do so, but know that you need to come from a place of not authority. Men, we should never allow a young man to look at us like, you know, we are their mother. You know, I ain't never want to do that anyway. I'm not your mom. You know, I'm, I'm security boss. I'm unsolicited. I'm telling you, uh, the ingredients to being to be successfully married. I never said it was easy, but there are some things you have to do as individuals. Um, men can't, uh, Dea B says, men can't be told what to do unless the woman moved by a good example. Basically, the man would be concealed by the woman without knowing. Hmm. I don't know if I understand what you're saying. Let me read it again. Men can't be told what to do unless the woman, well, let me tell you something. Um, women are very powerful. Okay. We are. And especially if you're a woman that carries yourself in a way that, um, it's enticing. Okay. There are many, there are a couple stories in the Bible. You can read where a woman was very enticing and she led a man astray. Okay. So let's just keep it real. It's, it's not, you know, it is not my intentions at all, but if your intentions are not good, a woman can lead you to do things that are not acceptable. We just need to be honest about that. Not everybody has your best intentions. You know, um, there's many times when a young woman could be, oh, God, I just heard a story two weeks ago about a, a man wanting to lay with a woman. She called him out. You know, they met at a place, uh, not a place, an apartment, her apartment. And she just all she did was set him up and they abused him. They beat him. They burned him. They poured gasoline on him. I think they, they stabbed him. Um, they did not kill him. They did so many things and they stole his car. I know y'all probably heard about this. It was an Instagram. I think they call it an Instagram cutie or something like that. But you would have never thought that this young woman, because she couldn't have been number one, 22 years old, would do this to anybody, let alone a man. But she did it and he trusted her and he walked it out. Now, there was nothing in him that that made him think. I'm just saying this because he went for it. 
but something in him should have said, no, this is not the way to go. But whatever it was that she possessed, he wanted so much that he definitely set his up. He, he was able to be set up. And this is a real story. I think they called her the Instagram cutie or something like that. So you should be able to see that. Uh, Miss Creative says, I did want to be a hairstylist and a makeup artist as, as a young kid. I am actually an engineer. <laughs> You know what? That's funny, <laughs> but I guess it never goes away. It never goes away. But no, um, Captain Executive is a real story. I think Anton actually featured it on his um, morning show. Yeah, they they tortured the young man, tortured him. And it ended up being all because they wanted money from somebody else. So it was like a blackmail situation or a hostage situation. Yes, a Jezebel vibe. And you all know that that's out there. So let's not, we're not going to pretend. It's definitely lot, definitely out there. Miss Jennifer, it is there. So that can be very strong and that could be very possessing. And we know it, right? I mean, so when you're on these YouTube platforms, you have to, you ask men, you have to protect yourself. And if a woman is saying something and she doesn't have good intentions, it could be, it could be wrong. So that's why men have to be men. And if a man is uh, not yet gotten to that point, hey, Tamika, Tamika. How are you? If a man has not gotten to that point, then he would want to be under the ears of the protection of other men when he needs to ask these questions. You know, he's asking questions about women. Well, you know, what to find and how do I know when a woman is good or whatever, you know, whatever he's experienced. And he would want a man to tell him that it wouldn't be a woman because a woman could lead him astray. So I agree with that message. But again, as far as I go, um, Security boss unsolicited is coming from a place where I've been married a long time. And that's what I'm talking about. And I'm telling men, I'm motivating men and I'm giving them all the encouragement in the world to be good men and to seek that purpose for themselves. So I don't want anybody not to listen to me because someone else has said women are not, you should not be listening to women. And um, Mr. Steele, you know better than anybody what I'm talking about because you were actually present a couple times when they talked about that. So um, you know, so it has some validity to it. It's just not a statement. Uh, it's not a cruel statement. It definitely comes from a place where, um, oh, T Tamika, you were there too. I'm so excited to make it to the live. Hats off to you, SB. You know what? I've been trying to talk to you. We're going to have to talk, but you're here tonight and I appreciate you. And thank you so much for being here. Tamika was there also. And Tamika, if you have a moment, I would like for you, we're going to drop the link in a minute because I would like to, uh, I want you to come up because I, you were there that day that Mr. Lee actually mentioned and said to the uh, young men that he's not interested. He, he suggests that they not be on platforms too long of women. They shouldn't really be listening to women. They're not ready to do that. There will come a time when women can be involved um, in a situation, you know, with them or whomever. But right now is not the time. And I don't know how that's judged. I guess that's on a particular. Well, based on his program. And of course, I'm not on his program. I'm just saying that was something. And you might can share a little bit more light to it, too. Talk Hill, how are you? How are you? So listen, um, I am going to drop the link now, but I just wanted to share that with women. Women keep being advocates. All the women I know are adv do advocate for men. We, we are not doing it from a place of authority. We're doing it from a place of love. And typically, we just share with you all what we think, you know, we, we give y'all a place to uh, be men because so often you all are shut down and people talk so negatively about you. It's ridiculous. And I'm just not going to let that happen. Cause I happen to know that men have value. I have to know, happen to know there are some very good men out there. And that's what I want everyone to know. Eugene Steele. So um, we're going to go ahead and bring them up. Mr. Steele. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. I like the way you came out when I came back in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, you know what happened the last time. Yep. I, did that. <laughs> I do, I do. We ain't signing. Hello, how are you, sir? I'm doing fine. Um, we're doing good. I was just speaking to some people in the chat over here. So, Mr. Steele, you've been listening. You were there initially, so I, I just wanted to cover that a little and. That was on Sage Talk a couple of weeks ago. I just wanted to say that I understood and I know it comes from a place of authority. And I wanted to kind of share that with you all because I don't want you all men to stop listening because another man said don't listen. So I needed to let everyone know my positioning in speaking in, speaking to men. So go ahead and tell me what you think about it or whatever you want to add, actually. Well, you know, the way I look at, look at it is this. First of all. As I said before, most of the content creators I listen to are black women. 
I heard you say that. Yeah. And, and, you know, I've, I've learned a lot, you know, from them and it actually made me want to reflect on my years, you know, as a man and all of them were talking, um, they were not talking, you know, down to us. They're just, you know, staying what they see, you know, they understand what masculinity looks like. Right. And everything. So, you know, it all resonated with me. But there's one more element I want, want to add, add to this. Yes. When you think about a leader, sometimes leaders have advisors. And the job of the advisor is not to try to lead the leader, but to give them the advice that would help the leader make the crucial decisions. Absolutely. And, and I think it's the same thing with a relationship or a marriage. Mm -hmm. Your wife is your number one advisor right now. And, you know, when she advised, and just like you said, you know, the woman's not, not doing this to overpower you or anything like that. She just giving her advice to help him make the necessary decisions. And, you know, that's basically how I look at it. You're exactly right. Hold on one moment. Let me read this super chat. Brian Jehovah, thank you so much for your $4.99 super chat. Brian, you are so silly. And I'm a good non-Christian man just messing with you. <laughs> Brian, you silly. I'm glad you're here, Brian. Thank you so much for being here. Stay around, Brian, because we're going to be, if you considering yourself an eligible bachelor, we're going to be letting you know who's going to be on, uh, who's the bachelorette tonight. We're going we're gonna to let everybody know. So stay tuned. We ain't signing. Thank you so much for being here. I'm glad to see you. Um, you know what, Eugene, you Emmanuel said the same exact thing that you said um, a couple of days ago about his wife being an advisor to him. And I actually I agree with it. I mean, because you see counsel and I do understand that women would be if there's a leader that women we women would need to be there because you do need to have that affiliation. Because if you're if you're teaching someone how to deal with a woman what better way to get the information from would be a woman. You know what I mean by that, right? I mean, you yeah. have to tell me what, what it is I think is good or what I think is bad. And I, I think that's a problem with the manosphere now is because it's so much to the left and to the right. Because like I mentioned, there are some men over there saying, woman, shut the hell up. Who listens to that? You know, and then you have other ones over there who are kind to the women. And, you know, they may be what, what somebody would say, Y'all don't get me wrong on these pills, but that might be a blue pill or a simping or something. And the other one would be like red pill rage. And it's like, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. We got to get this thing in order. So I, I agree with what both of you, well, man, you haven't said it today, but um, still, I agree with what you're saying. And I, I think that's the way it should be. And I think that that's actually what Mr. Lee was trying to say. But, you know, it's so shocking to hear someone say, men, you shouldn't be listening to women. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't be listening to women or being on their platforms. That's a shocking thing to hear. So I just wanted to make sure that everybody understood my position of where I where I'm coming from, because I have a covering here with me, you know, who has said, share this. This could be helpful, you know. So that was just my position. So, Emmanuel, you got something you want to add right now? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Um, so the biggest thing is that. Um, I personally think that women should not be counseling directly one-on-one -on -one with men. And I think oh, yeah. that's kind of, that's the advice that I give men. I'm not saying, see, wisdom can come in any way. See, we, I think wisdom is not, it's not taught, it's caught. Like you catch the wisdom. And so I can get, you can get wisdom from a baby. I've yep. had like toddlers speak. I don't want to say we cannot take a level of wisdom from women, but you should not be, I guess talking to women how you should be moving in your life currently like hey this is the job you're supposed to be taking this is the woman you're supposed to be taking to oh, especially a single woman. especially when we talk about a single woman the great thing about a married woman you are one with your husband so your husband speak through you just like when my wife says something it comes with my authority so it's not about you respecting what she says it's about respecting the man behind her what he is saying. Um, so I think married women, you're different because you become one with a man, which gives you a different level of power. But when we start talking about single women giving these advice, that's a whole nother conversation. Ooh, stop right there. Um, let's give uh, some shout outs to these uh, super chats. Mike Dub, how you doing, Mike? 
Thank you so much for your $5 super chat. And we also have Thinking Man podcast. Thinking Man, thank you so much for your $19.99 super chat. And you get the Money Line song. Yeah. <laughs> that was good one of y'all. It just takes the pressure off. Thank y'all so much for that. And um oh, E man, that was something there cuz um I think you know what? That may be a that may be a big deal cuz uh going back to what um Mr. Steele said, the, most of women he actually platforms you actually go to are the women all single besides myself. Mr. Steele I can't hear you. Sorry. Say it again. Now. I'm sorry. Uh, Emmanuel made a good point. He was saying um, a woman that is married is coming from the uh, is coming from her husband, and he's giving her the like he's like I said the authority to share the message because they're one. But if it's a single woman that has a uh, podcast, it may be something different. My question to you is: those women that you say you always join on their podcast are they single women? Are all of them single uh, besides yourself? Some, some of them are single. Some of them are married. Oh, okay. 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 Well, that's yeah. good. That's good to know. Okay. Well, because you got you to gotta remember, I know that you, security boss, got my best interest because you don't want me because you got a man. So right. a, a married woman usually give advice from our best intentions compared to a single woman. I might manipulate you to be a certain way. Like we hear a lot of women saying that, oh, you got to be this passive aggressive man because women can't take it. That's because she's, she have a she's invested in how the men are and that's what i'm saying it's a difference between where they're coming from because no woman gonna say she want a man dominating over her if she's in the market looking for a man and i think that's the difference right so in other words if I, since i am married if somebody said that to me i would kind of just laugh and smile and be like okay <laughs> you know because it doesn't mean anything to me. that's a good point I didn't think, but I, you know, that's still, someone said it in the chat that that's, that's, that's coming that, that's that Jezebel vibe. And that's what Jezebel came to do was to control. So that is, that's a good point. That's a very good point. So um, go ahead, Mr. Steele. Yeah. Uh, what thing I want to add is, you know, watching these you know, women I've watched, there are some of them whose marriage has been successful. There are some who had pitfalls and, you know, especially when you're teaching you know, one to avoid the pitfalls. I mean, that that's authentic and transparent that you can get. And you can learn from somebody who is transparent. Right. Very much so. I like my guest the other day. Tell me um, so listen, I want to mention this before it goes away. Miss Creative says, if you are not a married woman, then you are not valuable or, wait a minute, are not valuable or nobody or nobody interested no it's not <laughs> interesting no 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 it's not that what what we're saying is no a, a non-married woman is very valuable what they're saying is that she shouldn't be given one-on-one -on -one counsel or advice to a single man because sometimes if her intentions are not in the right place then the message might get misconstrued or there may not be she might get thrown off. She shouldn't be the one doing it if she's not a married woman. Is and I think that's what you're saying, Evan. Yeah, and security boss, I do want to go the the vice versa too. A, okay. I think a married man, I mean a single man shouldn't be giving married men advice too. Uh so your status matters not just because of your gender, but a single man can't give a marriage man advice about being married because he don't have the fruits of, of his labor, is what I'm saying. So I don't want to just make it a gender thing. I don't know about that one. Say, okay, let's make sure I hear, heard you correctly. You don't think you don't think a single man should give a mar uh, a married man advice? Correct. So let me dive a little deeper so you can. Wait a minute. Let me make sure I understand too. Single at the current moment, never been married, or been married single now. When I'm saying single, is your status have always been single? Now gotcha. I understand. Okay. I understand that life happened like you could have been married for 15 years and you grabbed a, a level of wisdom. What we see on this YouTube space, people who have never been married get married advice. And now that's the problem that I have. So when I say single, I'm not saying that you're, that's, this is what you currently is, is if you've never been married, these certain things you shouldn't talk upon is what I'm saying. Okay, so the answer, Miss Creative says, so if you're, so you're Jezebel if you're single, no ma'am. 
and he's just making a point that a single woman shouldn't give advice, shouldn't cancel with a married man. What if you're divorced? That's a good question. Oh, divorce, wow. you can definitely speak to what you know, because um, what better way to learn some without, you know, actually going through it? So that's 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 very valuable to me. And that actually goes to my guest that was here the other day, um, Lady J. So let's do this super chat, though. Thank you so much, Luke Aisley. She gives us a ten dollar super chat and she says, let's go to my line song first. Tamika, it's your first time here, but you know what? You can move your shoulders, dear. That's what you do when the money line song come out. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, Luke Casel says, some married women could be living bitterly in marriage. Important, get guidance from the right married woman. You are exactly right. All these things come into play, and I think that, that I know for a fact that's what Lee was actually speaking to. Is where you get in your advice. So he suggested that it just be men until you can actually hear. Got the right ear to hear. Like Emmanuel's been married a while, so he has a good ear now. He's developed a certain amount of wisdom that will carry him to be able to hear and discern the message. Not all men are there, and we know that. It's obvious, right? <laughs> so we know that. Big Cap, hello. He says, Auntie Boss finally caught alive. Hope you all hope you will being being great. How how y'all be great? Yep, <laughs> we are. Thank you for being here too. I'm glad you're here. So listen, Tamika, I, hey. finally, I finally get to talk to you a little bit. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well, doing very well. So listen, you were there that day that um, Mr. Lee mentioned about not speaking to women and you were all over the place. I saw you. I was like, oh, good. she got all kinds of questions. So what do you think about that? Um, I feel like, so what he was talking about in context, he was basically stating that for their platform that they're building with the Lapeef Network right now, they're just focusing on the men first. They don't want women's input. They don't want to hear anything we got to say right now because it ain't about us. It's about building solid, a solid foundation for black men who are ready to, you know, get their lives started and really be the head of the household in the manner in which that they say they are, which I am 1000% down with. Like, I respect that. I think I was all over the place on that episode just because in the beginning they did open the panel up for women to come up there and give suggestions. And then midway through the show, they decided not to. And then they just, it was a mess. The right. men were on the same page. So that's why I was kind of confused. One of my biggest things though, like, as far as him making comments about like not listening to women creators or uh, content creators or um, women's fears about the manosphere. Um, I think that like what you said earlier, because you're a married woman, what's being said through you is things that your man's probably poured into you and y'all you've built from your relationship. You've been married for umpteen years. Like can't nobody tell you better about marriage than the, a married woman. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we're talking about a panel of men who ain't married. Mm. That's and they're there but um, yeah so I feel like out of anybody who had credibility to talk about anything would be you um, I've actually been directed to you which is why I've been trying to reach out to you is because I feel like I, I understand that the black men black men want to get themselves together so that they can be the head of the household but the reason why we're in a situation now the reason why there's a manosphere now and it's not because there was an issue with the men which I agree. Men want to level up on all levels. I agree with that. Yeah. I think my issue, the issue now is the women. Yeah. <laughs> the women are the crazy ones. The women are the ones that don't want to change. The women are the ones that's not submitting. It's not the men. It's the women. The women lack respect for the black men. The women ain't ready to go lose the weight for the black men. She ain't listening to you. She ain't, nope. she ain't doing anything. <laughs> You know no. what I'm saying? So I feel like y'all going into y'all hideouts, getting y'all selves together, and then talk about we're not going to focus on the women at all. Why, what do you mean? When you come back out and you're this reformed man, you're going to come back to the same situation. Yeah. Matter of fact, she might be worse off than how you left her, which is why we need more married women like you in the space, giving women like me who, you know, do want to be married, who do want to seek counsel and things of that nature, I need to be doing work right now, too. Now, I am personally doing my own work, but I'm saying, like, I see you doing it in a collective space. Where is this space for women? Right. So that's what I wanted to talk to you about. But, yeah. 
I agree. See, Don't listen to a single woman about no marriage. If she ain't never been married. Why are you listening to her? Yeah, that, that's a big, that's a big, that's, you know, that would think, I think that was a, the point that he was making. He said something about, uh, well, listen, Mr. Logic just uh, tuned in. He says the layers are missing um, to the conversation. The layers? Okay, well, you can come up and let us know what they are. But to talk to you, Tamika, about what you're saying, um, women do need a space. We do, but the thing for you, though, you've already got your mind set straight on being that wife. See, we got to get their mind on being that way. And that's the, that's the hard part. You know, mm -hmm. we have to we have to share with women um, that they that it's, a, it's in their best interest to be married. And, you know, marriage right now is like, oh, it's awful to, you know, that's something that you want forever. Whatever reason at 23, you have decided that's what you want for your life. But let's say out of 10 women, it's probably only three of you that's decided that. So we got to get the other seven or at least three more to say, you know, I want that, too. So we can talk about it. Because, you know, for whatever reason, it's not, it's just, it's, and I'm, we know what it is, you know, that we've been more empowered. We, you know, making more money. Um, but I don't get why the men are looking less attractive, though, because the men don't look less attractive to me. They look more attractive to me. So I don't know. Yeah, because I like the idea that men are standing up, you know. But let's, let's push, we, we got to push back a little bit to let you guys know that women have had this space to say whatever they want to say for the longest. So if they're not saying the right thing, that's not on us. Like the women got more, way more platforms than men have. So I think you, that's one of those issues that you got to talk to the women. I know not you. Security that's what she's saying. Women. I think that's yeah. what she's saying. She's saying there's no, there's no platforms for women who are talking the right thing. No, so what, there's what plenty I, what, of platforms, Iman, oh yeah. of women talking. You are 110. percent We've been in this space way longer than the men. You 1,000. percent But the women, I y'all don't even want to know the type of podcast that's out right now. Dang. It's not about marriage. They ain't empowering us to be wives. They ain't empowering us to talk about submission. If anything, they teaching us how to be sugar babies for the executive men. You know what I'm saying? Like I can easily get online and figure out how to make a dollar real quick and then go finesse a man really quickly from other women, but go sit in a room in a space where they're talking about women being wives, women, you know, catering to their children, women making sure that they're, you know, taking care of the home, how is she preparing herself for marriage, things of those nature. Nothing like that's out here right now. Nobody's talking well, about that. Well, actually, let me say this. And again, this goes back to the black women I watch. They talk about that stuff, you know, to to women. They 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 tell you how to be wise or tell you how to be better, you know, girlfriends. You know, most of these women, you know, they Ninja. they try to talk to you know, other women about um, how 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 they can be better versions of themselves, you know, for the men. Uh, the way I've looked at it, also, it seems like. The women have two separate spaces, really. Yeah. 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 One space is like a space like yours, a uh, security boss, mm -hmm. and all the others I watch. And then you got another space where you got man haters, gold diggers, or uh, that totally another. So two separate spaces here in for these women. Right. And that's what she's saying. She says it needs to be more spaces like mine. You, uh, I, you say, okay. Mrs. Steele, you said it's about five, four others that you watch, but we're talking about five in a, a space of how many? A hundred? <laughs> yeah. Probably more. Yeah, well, yeah, it's actually more than five or six, you know. Well, I, oh, okay. I, I, think yeah. women, I think women like of your character have to come in, into defense of these women because when women, I remember one of the celebrities, a comedian, uh, came in and started talking about the bonnets. You heard all the attacks and nobody came to their defense. So you, you can't expect women to do something with no protection. I think women have to stick together on a different code to protect these women like security bosses making these type statements. That's important. Yeah, you're right. But um, how do how do we protect them? In what way? I mean, I agree with Monique is the one who did that. I can agree with Monique all day long, but I would say that those are the women that the men are not looking for. Those men are not like to, those women are not like Tamika. Their mindsets are not on being married. Those women have adjusted their lives or adapted to being single women that are going to do whatever they want to do. I really don't even want to speak to them. I well, want to speak to women. Go ahead. We got to increase the echo. 
See, the problem is when she said something, it was it was it ended so quick, it died out quick because the naysayers overpowered her. What I'm saying is when she said, imagine we had a hundred women backing her, saying that exact same message and that echo, because that's what we would have made no difference. Would have made no difference. No, it doesn't. Not with women today. It made no difference. So you're the boss can get up here and preach the the and preach the glory of, of marriage all the live long day, every day for 10,000 years. These women today do not care. I they want what they want. That's, but that's not totally want, but it's, it's, no. it's a fact. You're married. But it's not, told, but it's not totally true because you got one right above you that. No, but she does. wants marriage. That's what we're talking that's about. No, that's the difference. If a woman doesn't want marriage today, they're not going to hear anything you say. They're going to want to do what they want to do. That's not right. But that's who we're speaking to, though. We're speaking to the ones I'm speaking. I only want to speak to the ones that want it because I agree with you. Yeah, I, I, I got it. But... Want to wear the bonnets? I'm speaking to the women and would love to speak to more women who want to be in their femininity, who want to um, be wives, who want to have that freedom. But where are these women at? I mean, I, I see Tamika because I may visit a, a late night live. Or I see uh, River because she has her own platform or a couple of others. River. But they're like, you know, and then I have a lot of them now that are coming into my um, my lives, which is great. So it's growing in that. But what she's saying is, I wish we just had more of you, security boss, because I would love for somebody to show me what I need to do. And the numbers are like, like, like we said, where Mr. Steele said it's about six or seven of us. And it may be 100 out of 100. You know, seven right. out of a hundred, and the other ones are talking crazy. They're talking about deletion of black babies. They're mm -hmm. talking about I hate black men. You know, they they yeah. real extreme. Mm -hmm. The thing is, bottom line is, I mean, here's the thing: this part of the black community, let's be honest, it's over. It's what do you all think? the way over. It's tell dead. me what you're thinking of. Let's it ain't be coming back. This whole thing about uh, getting married, you know, pushing marriage. I'm gonna continue to push it. And I'm gonna do a. a episode about this on my platform uh, on my, my platform my show as well mm -hmm. on the black man unfiltered network but and you listen there it, the thing is you're just vastly outnumbered and your voice is being snuffed out by the nonsense voices like yours it's just been snuffed out way too much by the nonsense it's too much white noise going on out there for anyone to hear you now you're going to catch some you might catch a lot but enough for it to make it to, for it to matter? No, that's done and over with. I disagree. I, I disagree. You can disagree all you want to, E man. I mean, and also here's one thing I wanted to know before I go in on this one. When you say should men listen to women, on what subject are you talking about, or is it just period? Who is that question to? That's to, it's the security boss. Oh, the question you have is: Should men listen? Be advised. Should women be advised. Should women should men be advised by women? Grown men. Should women advise grown men? Okay. Uh, is that just any on any subject or on something yeah. in particular? That's the that's a question. So, however it comes to you, because the the whole the um it, it was derived from someone saying that men should not listen to women. That's retarded. Yeah, I. I'll never if it's it. in gen if it's in general, that's that's absolutely. Thank God you asked this question on your platform because I'd be cussing like a sailor right now. I was in the car. On no, my no, no, no. Listen, going off. Hold on. I took it. Listen to. Let's listen to the complete. That's not exactly what the person said. He knows completely that we have to be allies. So that's not. That wasn't his general statement. I'm just. Okay. I took it from that and said, "What do you all think? Should okay. women listen? Should men listen to women? Because it could be very dangerous that a woman is." If a woman sees herself in authority over man, that is not right. Well, then she's dismissed. You're out. But but you all have to identify and know when that's happening, though. Yeah. Right. And yeah. Then hold on, hold on, hold on, one more second. E man, uh, his, here's my thing with this: what confuses me. Marriage counselors do this all the time, people, and they're single as they come. A lot of them. Well, so then is, so question, my thing but, is, but shouldn't if, you be shouldn't you be selective in choosing a marriage counselor? They must you be should married. Be. I mean, you should be, but that's, I mean, you know, hard is going to be, listen, that's going to take too long. Right. But it, to find that. Drill, it doesn't make it correct. Just because somebody did something, it doesn't make it correct. My thing is, like, you, you, my, if I have a wife, I'm going to require her to be competent. That's a requirement. She's going to have to, she's going to have to give me her, her, her opinion, and I'm going to go to her for, for opinions and counsel. That's right. a requirement. 
I'm going to require my wife to be a competent woman. Absolutely. And yes, I'm going to go to her for advice. I'm going to need her input on stuff. You can't we, do we that. I can't that. marry you. Yeah. Right. Yeah, well, yeah, E-Man didn't say, I, I don't say say, E-Man. E-Man, E-Man. did you say that? Well, let me I tell you that. Let me tell you why. Okay. So let me tell you why I agree with Mandrill just a little bit. Um, it's from experience. I think that being in these YouTube streets, as long as we have, and building a bond with you, Security Boss, and people like uh, TJ and um, the Book of Genesis and so on and so forth, I've sat in the back, because not on panels, right? Normally I am, but I've sat back and not been on a panel. And I've sat back and I've just watched when you speak. And I see how women look at you when you when you talk about when you do for your man and, and pushing marriage. I, I would I, one day I would love to have a um, I would love to have a sit back in, with my brother E man right there and sit back with and we just sit back and watch what these people are saying about security boss when she's speaking positive about men. And when mm-hmm. Mandrell says these women these days are not listening and they don't want it, he's telling the truth. Not all, but some. They're talking Most. about when Security Ball said that. Oh, pick me. Mm-hmm. Oh, what kind of woman exactly. is this? And you see it going down. The, you see it going down. You like you. And I'm looking at the comments like, how could you say this about a woman that's got got over 20 years experience in marriage? She loves her husband. She does for her husband. She's there for her husband. She's. <sighs> She's a nurturer to her husband. She's a champion for her husband. She supports her husband. And she's sitting up here telling this and sharing and being transparency about her mistakes, transparency about how she became, how she came out of her mistakes. And women still are talking down on her. And not and only are they talking down on her, on how she thinks and the way she carries herself, they're talking down on what she's wearing. They're saying, but, oh, she thinks she's pretty. She thinks she's cute. And this is 20 women in the chat, 20, 30. So you take those 30 women, of, of, of women that they're saying, girl, that's a pick me who ain't about to be no slaves to no man. I don't know what she's talking about. And I'm but, just sitting watching these women just trying to destroy security boss in the chat. But hey, black there's there's no time, wait, hold on. There's sometimes when security the boss has left the, has left the uh, left alive, and for a whole another 45 minutes, they're still coming after you. Yes, security I, boss. I, I get that, but what, a what whole 45 minutes, they're still sh- taking shots, and you're you not even that. there. But what you got, what we're trying to focus on. It's the five or six women who say, yes, yeah, she's right. How do I get that? They're going to come in. Hold on for a minute. Go ahead. Go ahead, E-Man. Get, complete that thought. So what I'm saying is that I get the 20 that's going, that are straight, the Jezebel spirits, that they're not going. But what I see is I look from a different lens. I see maybe Tamika or other women says, I want what she got. I want to serve my man like security boss serving her husband. How do I get it? And what, right. I, what I am saying is, how do we focus on these women? Because if we focus and start making this the centerpiece. Believe it or not, more women will start trying to migrate to that because they are getting the results. That's what, what we're do you saying. Mean focus. She's doing well, it right well, now. Well, E-Man, like I said again, I would like to walk you down these YouTube streets. And Security Boss is up to what? Two and a half, what, almost 3,000 subscribers? These women uh, that are. I don't even know exactly how many, but yeah, I'm. I'm it's yeah, 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 yeah. You had it up. Come you anyway. up Shook. And, but then you look at these other women that are saying, delete these babies. Uh, me and ain't this, me and ain't that, uh, 500,000, 75,000, yeah. a, a, a million subscribers. I mean, what are we talking about? The positive no, women ain't getting their attention. No, 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 that's not true. See, see, this is what we do. We try to compare to. We say, okay, since she's talking about this, she got a bigger following than the one who's talking about this. I tell the security boss, I, I'm going to do super chats. You keep doing that mission because exactly. the mission that she's on yeah. in 10 years, she's going to have a hundred. I remember, I remember when KS came into this space, everybody said that it was crazy. He wouldn't go get that attention. And we looked two years later, he got a, a army of followers and she would have that same army long as she stays consistent and we support it. The ones mm-hmm. that agree with her mission, we must support it. And she will be louder than those other women. Cause no, that's a fact. It's a fact. No, she will not. No, away. that is not a fact. You don't understand human behavior at all. At all. Even. So listen, so listen, um, 
we are gonna do that. We are gonna stay the course. Yeah, keep doing what you're doing. All I'm, saying is to, I'm only speaking to the people like Tamika, and I know there are a lot of others out there. But we just have to, and it goes to what Eman is saying. In time, they will realize that I'm here. The only reason why you know that I'm here is because I just ran into you on a live at night. I haven't been doing this particular um, panel for what about six months now, October. Best so thing that ever happened. We're gonna continue. Thank you, yeah, Black. We're gonna continue to for do real. it, and we're gonna continue to share with ladies. That want to hear how to be um, wives, we're going to continue to share the message. And that's pretty much all we can do. But I think there's also a group of women out there that um, are right there on that line, y'all. They want to be, they just haven't seen any good examples of what it looks like. Um, those are the ones I'm more concerned about. Tamika okay. knows what she wants to do at 23. She knows. She knows exactly See? which way she wants to go. But you have those over there that have that influence. You know, influence is real heavy. And if you got if you only hear a negative influence, it can get into your head and you will start to think and do what other people are doing. Whereas if you had a good influence, you would do otherwise. And I think what will be a big help is what Sage talk, Mr. Lee, what Lapeef is doing over there by saying to the men, I'm going to make you all, you know, men. Because, you know, guess what? If I, if I have nothing to talk about, there's nothing to talk about. If men are showing up as leaders purposefully and they're stronger men and they're not accepting, you know, the trashy behavior, then there's nothing for the women to talk about. We're not but, even hanging out in the same spaces anymore. You know what I'm saying? I'm over here doing this. I'm going up and you down here doing this. So we're not even hanging out anymore. So what are the women going to be doing then? They're going to be saying, you know what? I think I kind of want to be on the way up. So then it's going to change. It should change. Right. It's, it's yeah, a case about other it's security boss. We're gonna bookmark this episode when you get to season one hundred of your dating <laughs> show, and these women are getting married, married at the. Ma I think I think it's gonna go past one and two. When you get to season one hundred, we got a hundred women that done found their soulmate and they done got married. Now it's a different thing is because they are getting the results. The people who get the results, I'm telling you, women uh, they'll change their tone quickly. Well, I kind of believe that too. So that is one reason why we're doing the dating show too. So that is another part. But you know, this season, uh, the season is going to be a man and a woman for both sides. So you're right. And it's it's going to have, it's going to be a little bit more organic than the manipulation and all that that's going on in the YouTube spaces right now. Because YouTube can make you hate each other. Y'all know that, right? It can really make you hate each other. You'd be like, B, and who knows what y'all calling the, the men. So we got to, we got to add a different dynamic to it. And I definitely agree with that. So, uh, Canadian born. I see you with your hand up, sir. I apologize. I try to be patient, try to be polite. Hear what the problem is. We have a thing called spectators and you have partakers. We got followers, then we have leader. Tamika is a perfect example. She's not a follower of the masses. Get in your she mic, David. What get, in your mi get in your mic, Black David. So she, she sees something that you want, that you're willing to make that effort to move forward. The Tamika, the Janae, the Dave, you have on the Black YouTube Street. What well, the problem is, I've been saying it for the past couple of months. Mainstream media, social media, when you promote negativity, it attracts the massive of ignorant people who like to see those type of negativity. Yeah. When you're doing something very, very positive, it's not very popular. Just not like the 60, 70, 80, when you're doing something with high integrity, high dignity. It became popular then. Now the unpopular thing is to be right. The unpopular thing to have a straight and narrow path. The unpopular thing is to have a level of integrity. The unpopular thing to have someone have self-respect, self-reflection. Why? Wow, what is making the mainstream media are the ungodly, the unjustified, the unruly, the highly ignorant, the no good, the good for nothing buffoons the shenanigans etc as you see out there that's what being promoted i had to conversation with a few of our fellow brother i tell you imagine they promote <laughs> cardi b song wap at the greatest inspiration song for women and i was like when i heard that i said i need to leave this country asap because this is this is a joke mm. and with two congress women yeah did you see that email Two but Congress the, women said that, Congress that should be the number one song that for women to embrace that. themselves. But this this been going on for two thousand years, and we still I see know that. But what, what I'm trying to point so out is this: and there were no and there were no WAP songs going on. I, I get it. What I'm pointing at is what the media watch is doing. 
she's a woman with a high level of integrity, with respect for herself for her marriage, trying to teach the younger generation what it takes to get to where she's at. You got a lot of shenanigan overgrown girl, not women. Right. Girls. Remember, I tell you that different level. You got women, we got ladies, and we got girls. Mm-hmm. They're all females. Right. But a different class to it. Same thing applied to the males. We got grown men, we got upcoming men, and we got boys. The upcoming men, they can either go back on for They can either try to be a grown man or fall back being a boy. That's what we have in today's society. The problem is, if those who don't have their own backbone to walk on their own two feet want to be followers, to follow the crowd. You know how you in high school and you see yeah. the most popular person ever on the click to the most popular person? I was the guy who was a loner. I don't follow anybody drum beat. I follow my own drum beat. I know what I want in my own life. I've mm-hmm. been that way. I was caught with it by my parents. I was caught with it by my friends, my classmates, my co-worker because you know why I don't fit the own society norm yeah so i was society talking to, norm is about I talk, the shenanigan i spoke to mandrill norm. about that the other day and i was it's very important that we don't fall into the norms um today's because, norm. today i live in new york city brooklyn in manhattan women can't expose their chest out which is crazy yeah and but i've never fit into any kind of normal n- now and i've never fit in any kind of societal norm Right, but when yeah. right, you you don't. I don't want you to, but I don't want you. I'm not gonna go back into what we were talking know, about. But what, you know what I'm saying? You see what I'm, you see what I'm, you see what I'm, I'm trying to paint a picture here. Oh no, I agree because with your picture. I I'm agree. With log- you. I don't think over emotion. I think on logic. What is factual? What is true? The problem with people, I hate to say this, they prefer baby food. They can't take solid food. Mm. Get them baby food, they'll be okay with it. We get them solid food. Uh, can you cut it a little more smaller pieces and a little more water? Too hard for me. It's too hard to digest. Well, Those are the well, baby I'm, you need to neglect. Leave them alone. No, security. It's the real grown really people you. who can take the solid food and take self reflection, take correction, and get back on the right path. Don't waste your time on grown ass baby who love baby food, baby milk, breast milk, and don't want to grow up at all. Because you're wasting your energy. Don't put your seed on on ground that you can't grow crop out of, that it's rocky. It's on it's, it ain't worth growing any of it. Leave those alone. Those that you reach out to are your crop that you need to work on. The rest of the garbage, let them be. I agree yeah. with that. So wait That's a minute, Mandrew, uh not Mandrew, I'm sorry. E man, did you have a comment for that? Because Mr. Lodger just come in and I think he has something to say. We got a minute. Yeah. Uh Go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to be real quick. The only thing I'm saying is I just really wish that we had cameras back a thousand years ago because <laughs> I, I really believe a lot of things that we think is new today have been going on. It, Jezebel is not a new spirit. That spirit no. is one of the oldest spirits out. And that's all I'm saying is that we we, we, we talk on this space like this is a new issue. This issue it is, is a new issue. issue. It's not, it's, well, it's it, a e- brand man, new issue. Is, no, this is a brand my, new my issue. My thing is this, though, E-Man. Look at marriage. 70 years ago and look at marriage today. Look at marriage 10,000 years ago. That's what I'm alluding to. Look at marriage today. This is a brand new issue. Yeah, man. that's what I'm talking about. Families have ne- women have never looked at marriage this way ever in human history, in any civilization. And yet the civilization, it's a sin to met on another person marriage. Mm-hmm. In every civilization, in today's society, in some history. other country, if they catch you pick up another part of marriage, Everybody know who you are. You have to leave yeah. that town to go to another town to live in peace. But and if in you're America, a woman, they make it marketable to do that. It's no big deal. That's this is problem. brand new, we, man. We idolize right. the ungodly, Mr. Logic. the baboons yeah. of society. Sorry about that, black man. Mr. Logic, go ahead and um, tell us what you think about this. Give us that layer you were speaking of, sir. <laughs> the layer? No. No, I was just going by your comment. You said we were missing. I think you said Tamika or either myself were missing a layer. I was just saying, just let's update us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was no disrespect. And uh, I was on early, no. but I got a phone call. So uh, the, the layers are, I'm saying is that and we just have to be honest. So, yes. like, uh, we just have the honest conversation. If we had an honest conversation, our community is being ran by black women across yep. the board. 
So now, if we say, okay, our community has been run by black women, it's a failure. It is. And then at some point, the men going to have to sit here and say, hey, look, you know what? We need to build us up first. Because if you have it and you see it running around and you see it on YouTube, we see it in real life, where women are just used to having the power in our community. This is not this is not um, a thing that you can pin on no other community but ours. And then, yeah, we can we can try to address all the things that we see in our society that whether it's a government, whether it's some type of system that put these things in place to do it. But it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, this is how it is. Right. So when you're focusing on men, you got to focus on men. And then once you get to that point where you get men built up, like you said, all these little female channels that's running around here in the manosphere. Right. Mm -hmm. Just be honest. They have naked chicks. Let's keep it funky. I don't even care if they married or not. They have naked chicks. And guess what? They get an audience of men based on what? The way they, they look. They, they excellent talking points or their results? No. They get them, them dudes in there because of the way they look. So I get it. I, I know that this shouldn't have this shouldn't be, it shouldn't have to be this way, but it is. Because if I put Tamika on a panel, right? I'm just using an example, right? Or or even you secure the boss, because you know what I'm saying, you handle your, you hold yourself a certain extent, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Both of y'all are attractive women. Thank you. It's gonna take the focus off what the men need to focus on because they will be looking at secure the boss, the super chats will be blowing up, it'll be don't nobody care about the message at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And then so um I, I know it's because I'm like this. And I was going to say it on the panel. But I said, say, Tamika, if you really serious, right? And you just ain't just ready your mouth, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect to you. Then guess what you should do? You should email me because guess what? The next phase involves women. But see, not one time, did not, I'm, I'm, I'm going to call it straight. Can I keep it funky? Security boss? Yeah. Not one time. She did dress and oh wait, wait. They did say tier two gonna start in um the summertime and it involved the family and you got no family without the women. Why we can't start brainstorming that now? I told yes. Mrs. Lee, I said that it should be based in certain concepts. And I said you should treat it like the military, so excuse my terminology that I'm finna use. Everything should be focused on full ops and cool ops. And in the terminology for that is future operations and current operations. So you will always be thinking ahead. Like when, when we working on something, just say we working on within the next month, you know what I'm saying? We'll be unveiling, uh, uh, we'll start the first tier and we'll start phase one through four. But guess what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to be working on five through 11. And guess what I can be doing? I can be looking forward to actually starting on the next tier. So that's what I'm saying. Like, if, 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 if these women really say, hey, look, you know what? This is something we want to be a part of. Then, hey, it's there for you. What's your email? I ain't going to put my email over this. You're crazy. Hold on for a minute. Let me say this. Logic to, the, to Tamika's de defense. She did reach out to me like right away, like yeah. almost, almost a panic situation, <laughs> like, almost a panic. And I actually reached out to you. I didn't ask any questions at the time because I, I didn't feel like it was time to do so. But she did. She did have a little panic in, in the, you know, I need to know something. Help me, help me a little bit. I, she, so she did in a way. I mean, maybe that wasn't the best way to do it because I didn't know anything, but she did have some questions. And she did want to share, you know, she, she she needed some advice at the time. And of course, like I said, I didn't have any answers, but, you know, I tapped into you for just a little bit. But again, I felt like it wasn't the right time because I did hear you all say that women will, you know, those are, we need to be affiliated with women, but it's not time yet. I heard you say that. So yeah, I, I, yeah, I, but I, we got to, but we already laid out the, the framework for the entire program. So it's there. I mean, it, it's, it's somebody go, I mean, and look, I would just be honest with you. If you looked at when we unveiled that program, I was disappointed uh, because who you saw pushing it? 
Who you so more excited? Women. And did I bite my tongue or did I say exactly what I saw? I oh, said yeah. it. I saw women. I saw women more excited than I saw men. So yeah, they want to come see that big, sexy, very white beard of yours. That's all they're coming for. <laughs> I would take so care. That's, so that, that's what they're coming for. You just like no. on the other side, you say the men coming for the women, but you know they coming to see. They coming to see what Mister Logic gonna say tonight. Oh, girl, you seen Mister Logic, girl? You gotta log in. <laughs> nah. Mister Logic got his hat turned backwards. He got a nice hoodie well, on. They're they gonna, they gonna be disappointed because Mister Logic got discipline now. That and it ain't no dick this man. Miss Logic got to focus, so you know what I'm saying. I just we're gonna need to get into that, but I appreciate you. I understand what you're saying, Mr. Um, Black Man on Filter. But the thing is, is but I'm not talking to women though, I'm talking to the men. I mean, the message didn't change, you know what I'm saying. And I think that's a lot what you see, what you see the downfall of the manosphere. I just hate to say it, but it happened with the women. Women start coming in and it actually. Uh, recycling these talking points that these men had for years and the only thing they got that the men don't have is a pretty face a nice chest and then all of them showing their whole everything in their thumbnails so now tell me what you think they want to do like if you really want to do just show your head and then make a graphic with your brain showing you ain't you trying to do what you do on the streets I'm serious women know how to do it so like I said the manosphere was compromised by these attractive women and i'm gonna give it to them and then they doing a good job of it because guess what you see everybody in the blowing up they super chats and like if we trying to we can do it the way that you know what i'm saying that they that they, they doing it now but we already see the outcome of that you feel what i'm saying yeah we already see it and it'd be easy to take the message and turn it and spin it and then they was like, I don't like you said that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, they get mad at me, security boss, because I told them, like, look, you know what? I'm not dealing with no woman that's not coming to my house unless she butt neck and barefooted. And it, but they, they, they so, I mean, I appreciate this too, because I can explain more stuff on this than I can do on Thursday night. <laughs> so, but they don't understand the concept of that is butt neck and barefooted. That means you coming as you are. And you leaving everything behind. You ain't bringing no nothing. You leaving everything behind. That's the mentality I want to work with. I want somebody to come in the house and hopefully through this program, we can build men up to make that kind of options. You know what I'm saying? To be and say, nah, you know what? I'm good. I'm just, I'm just, look. I'm in my early 40s and then maybe like 38 when I retired from the military. I just experienced that. And you know the feeling that you have when you have absolute control? That's a good feeling. When you can turn down threesomes, you can turn down chicks, you can do, my bad, is this, what is this unsolicited, right? Yeah, I do. <laughs> that usually applies to me, though, but go ahead. Yeah, I, and, I know, and I know, but the thing is, is that that's the things that I want to tell these young men, that you got to actually build yourself first and then now you close your eyes and these chicks will be blowing your DM up. They'll be doing that because now you're proving yourself to be different. But we got to produce different men. And right now we're not pr 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 um, producing different men. These men is the same. These men is followers. Just like I, and I call them out. Half of them can't sit here and say a sentence without saying Kevin Samuels, TLA, uh, Tupac, Nas. They, they all sound the same. <laughs> they all sound yeah. the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. Every single one of them, they all sound the same. Well, Mr. Lux, I, I definitely appreciate that. Um, you adding a little more clarity to it. Um, right. I think I understood. And I, I do. Oh, black. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. I'm, I'm go ahead. glad you clarified that out because when you made that statement, but naked and barefoot, I can recall during my 20s when people found out with a Nigerian. That's the question I asked. You want your woman to be butt naked and barefoot? I'm like, what? Throughout my 20s, that's the first thing I act when they find out I'm, my parents are Nigeria. So you want your woman to be but they naked and to walk around. I'm like, where do you get this idea from? And I try to research and see where the stereotype coming from. If you're from Jamaica, they say something about you. If you're from the island, they have a preset consistent about who you are. When you're from Africa, God forbid you're from Africa. All type of weird stuff. You want to have multiple wives? Okay. I am a byproduct of a polygamy family. 
I have the feed that the data and I explain what it looks like on the inside. I'm not doing that in my house because it's too much stress. I ain't trying to remember names. I want to do one name and one name only. <laughs> right. And I'm so sorry. and I don't have a lifetime supply of Viagra either. Hello. Oh damn. <laughs> um so <laughs> and so Mr. Logic man... sometimes because sometimes I throw these out there because people think you can mimic certain culture that our people have been practicing for a thousand years, they could do the same thing. But when he made that statement at first, I was like, Whoa, barefoot, barefoot, fucking naked they... and barefoot. It kind of weird, but when he clarified what he was saying, it makes sense. But you know, they used, to, they, they, they used to day. add pregnant to that. You did you realize that they used to yeah, add I, pregnant. I, took it out. Uh-huh. I took it out. I'll but see, Mr. Logic done, Mr. Logic done made it fit him. He ain't put pregnant on the end of it. He just, he just said, you don't need I, the pregnancy. I, I, I was about to say that for you. You don't need the pregnancy. I know that for you. Well. I, yeah. I, I got a question, though. So, Mr. Logic, okay. everybody's yeah. agreeing with you. Black man, I want to, can I, let me slide this in here. Then I yeah, want yeah, to go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Logic, someone had a good question. I think it was not, she didn't phrase it as a question, but it made me think about it. I think it was M. Mills. She said, same talking points. Now, are there going to be different talking points for the men that you are working with that it doesn't, um, that we, that it can't be penetrated like the manosphere is or was? I think, she, I think she was talking about when I said the women use the same talking points as the men. They just got, you know what I'm saying, a pretty face and a nice body. So I don't know. It's, so is that, that what you want me to address her? No. I mean, she just made me think about it. So I'm still asking the same question, though. I'm asking my question. Far as the um, Black Alpha group, are there going to be different talking points that are, that differ from the Manosphere points that obviously were taken over by women? You know, what is going to be the, the major difference, you think? I just say the, the 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 main focus would be that um, it's not coming from like we're not addressing females. Okay, so that's what the manosphere was. Okay, okay. Yeah. I see. I don't. Know, I don't really don't know anything about the manosphere. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm just kind of um, learning. I got you. So what manosphere is, manosphere is? They address female problems. They address problems whether it's dealing with uh, um, and pretty much as far as relationship, but when you dealing with that perspective of just the relationship first instead of doing the man first you have to address the women i got you, you know what i'm saying so yeah. now i think that that i don't think these men are prepared to address these women like at that point because they'll come up here and they'll be melting in their socks because they see a nice looking chick you know what i'm saying and then now not only they melt in their sock they'll bite their tongue with their nose because look they'll call me a simp Right, and I say something that everybody know that exists, but now just because you're in the presence of an attractive woman that you're probably trying to slide in her DMs, it gonna cloud your judgment. So that's why we don't even need that. Like I said, if you if you have a woman coming, like come on now, it's like if anything you do, if you involve attractive women into it, it will derail the process. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you do, that's why. Like at my job. I try to hire the ugliest women possible. The ugliest women possible. Like if you if you got a flat butt and you, you cross eyed, you get a check on my box. I'm you just saying stay focused, right? Everybody just stay focused. Everybody focus. can stay focused. That's it. That's all I'm saying. I love I love attractive women, but that that's how it is. And I think that's how we gotta approach it. And um and I don't know. And so, I mean to me, cause you can give a security boss, you know how to get in contact with me. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, security yeah. boss, question. It sounds like you and Mr. Logic are saying two different things. You said that you're going to give your advice from a relationship point of view, and he said that this black, the, uh, this new group is going to give men advice on how to be become better men. And uh, so, it sounds like if if this if this advice about being better men, don't you think only men can tell men how to be better men when you remove the relationship? I agree with them. I'm, I I share my advice from a marriage perspective. That's that's what that's what I said initially. Yeah. Only from a marriage perspective. I'm coming. I'm a woman that's covered and been covered for 27 years. So my experiences are, are real experiences between me and my husband. This is me learning my husband. I'm. I really should be only talking to women. You know, because that's what makes the the true dynamic. But if women are not listening, I'm still telling my story, and whomever tunes in is who gets that message. But I'm just but coming from that place. You know. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. And Mr. Logic, for, for you, man, like even <clears throat> I see what you're doing. And so I think a lot of, well, a few uh, of us are trying to do that because even tonight uh, uh, on, on my platform tonight, the barbershop, um, we're, my, the title is Dick Discipline and, pedal, and Pedestal Kicking. And that's what we're talking about tonight. We're talking about having that deep discipline and not putting those uh, women that E-Man was talking about earlier, the ones that, not the five that want to, but not putting those who don't want to on these pedestals. Because I think that's part of the problem too. We take women. I got to say, Kid, I, I want to say something to you because that, that, that's like one of the things too, though, right? Um, Dick Discipline, right? Yeah. That's just like telling a, a, a lie not to kill. Mm. And I'm just saying, and if you if, if, if research the penis, and how the how, and I'm serious. I'm sorry, security. Bro. I'm gonna get out of here because I'm. We, hey, no, 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 you coming tonight? You coming tonight, Logic? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah just sit it to me. Uh, he knows you, Mister Logic. You know how I'm the one who stresses that. I'd say you because y'all have. If you could do that, that's your control. That's all your power there. So mm -hmm. if you in some way display to young men that you we have the power, then. We would y'all wouldn't have any problems. So, so well, let me, well, let me tell you, let me tell you this, and I, I, I come to uh, um, black man on field tonight and break this down. But research the penis, right? <laughs> and then when you research the penis, and it happens for a reason. That's why I don't understand why a lot of black men don't understand this. That when you have a sudden rush of blood that comes, that comes to the penis, right? Where's that blood coming from? The brain and the feet. It's so it, it it's coming and it, and if you look at it and it's a it's a um it's an actual scientific article that's out there. Um, it was it was by some professor in Netherlands. He was doing, um, I think like around about twenty years of research, and he was explaining the reason why why you have to lose that blood from your head to go to your penis because now. It will stop reproducing like like that. If man if if men approach sex and they think clear, imagine how many babies we would not have out here. Just think about it. it it's like cause I mean, and if you religious, you go to it. You know what I'm saying? Just like God said, you know what? Go out and be fruitful. But the thing is, is that's a that's a forking. It's a forcing mechanism. Just like we have forcing me mechanism inside of us to make us eat and drink. Mm-hmm. So, Mr. Lodge, I got a question before you go. Um, so, over the last couple of weeks, the one thing I've been saying is let's focus on the man. If we're going to talk about the man, we should focus on the man. And what I have been seeing is every time I try to bring up conversations about the man, they try to blame the woman while the man is in the situation that they are. Do you think that y'all guys are going to be cure or like kind of catering this to talk to the men without trying to use excuses as women as the excuse why they not where they are? No excuse. We use the we use the same the same moral codes that we have for the man. The women will have to align with that same moral code because she will have to support that man. And then it, it it's it's just it's so many different doctrines I had to explain this because it worked like that before. And then like I said, I don't even we haven't even looked that far. So but I'm just saying, I mean, but I'm just starting to look in that far. Uh, matter of fact this week. I mean, I'm going to just give you uh, how serious that we take it out. Uh, we starting to produce. Ooh, Mr. Lee going to get mad at me. Okay, right, don't you, do it. Don't do nah, it. No, 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 no. You're good. You're getting exclusive. So this, this, oh. cause this is for the suckers who think that this is a joke. So what we're doing is we're actually making lesson plans. So for every portion of this thing we're teaching, we're doing lesson plans. And if you're familiar with military and um, POIs, um, we're actually putting together products. So now it will be able to not only be revisited, it'll be able to be modified. You know, or POI stand for program of instruction. So yeah. it, it will it will be a system that will be constantly you can build upon it. You can add modules to it, you can add different layers to it, and then nothing will be solidified and this will be some ongoing that we'll be able to constantly do. And then my vision of it is that we should be able to teach this to these kids. You know what I'm saying? Let's get these kids when they're young. And let's teach them how to be that better black man. And then now, without the influence of these women, because in these households and these kids, over what, 73% of them, 
is in a single parent household. So now what you got to realize is where they get the information from. They see their woman as leaders. When when somebody win the NBA championship, they don't say, I think my mom and my dad, LeBron James, I think my mama, I think God, in that order. <laughs> he said, I think my mama and I think God. So now these women is the leaders of our community and it, Either we do something about it or we just see him and just, you know what, I can, I'm can, i good. I can just see him and enjoy the rest of my life and chill. But I got kids that now I can't lead this trash to. So listen, this may be a good time. Let me say this. Does anybody else have any questions for Logic before I do this? Because I think it might be a good time um, yeah, to announce our batch. Let me say this real quick. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. um, real quick. So I love you. I think it's a good thing that you're doing, man. And anything that you do, and you already know this because you're a strong-minded brother like myself, but anything you do, you're going to have pushback. You're going to have naysayers, bro. They coming, you know? Um, and so as we continue on, man, I, I want you to know that in this um, in this uh, journey that you're taking to, to change the mindset, uh, just know that uh, I'm in your corner, man, and uh, I'm going to support whatever you got going on, man, because you're trying to do the work. So. Uh, so, so you said that I'm gonna see all these brothers on Sunday. Yeah, absolutely. It, 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 it suit and ties. No, see, I, I don't already, know. I don't think they know about it. Jay, I, I, I don't know if they know about this. They body. know about the security balls. Don't try to save them. Look, look oh. at Mandrea cut his camera off. I, I really <laughs> don't know. I really don't know what they know. Uh, I do know Mr. Steele knows, um, but I don't know from that point. Does anybody else know? But you know, they need to seek the information because. Um, <laughs> You know, most of them. Well, no, these are married men, though. Only the two single are Steele and Mandrell. So, you know. Hey, they got they got more to offer. They oh. got a different perspective. Why, why? I mean, I don't know. I don't. I have nothing against married people. Like I said, when I look at it, as far as YouTube, my two favorite couples on YouTube would actually be you and Anton Daniels. Y'all relationship. And so, and I give you that credit, but that don't mean I ain't going to blow no smoke at Anton. In that perspective, I look at him as being, you know what I'm saying, somebody that I can see here and I can listen to. Whether he see it or not, I'm real. I just, I pick up everything. I hear everything. So, um, I will always listen to to you and Anton. That's why I was mad I didn't go to Atlanta meet though, because I actually wanted to meet your husband. Because I can't judge, I can't, I don't even feel comfortable even talking to you sometimes. And I don't even, I ain't met your husband yet. Well, you know he right there. He hear everything you say. I, I know, I know. I said, I said, I know he there. You see, when yeah. I come on your panel, I address your husband before I address you. Yeah, we we know, we get it, we understand. Yeah, yeah we definitely understand what's going on. But you will, you will. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Logic, before you go, email Mr. Logic. I put the link to the show tonight in the uh, private chat, bro. Man, I'm on my phone, man. I ain't even at home, so I can't see that. Security boss is sending to me. She's not getting ten. Okay, Her, yeah. hey, Logic. I'll get Logic. to you. Okay, you appreciate it. Kinda, I'll send it um, to Mr. Boss. Oh, right now, yeah. Mr. Lodge, don't go too far because uh, we're gonna we're gonna uh, announce the uh, Bachelorette in a little bit. Uh oh. And I know you're gonna throw your name in the hat. You think you already done one, but I'm I don't I'm flexed you already. I already flexed you. So you don't. You know, know what I'm though? I gotta give you my little pushback on it. You an add time, right? Because I gotta what? be fair. What? We said we was gonna do for the love of Lodge, and y'all took it. But you know what? Y'all took it. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait. Y'all ran with it, and I salute y'all because I don't got no time to do it. So, yes, I want to figure out who this chick is. Listen, oh. listen. You, you made me feel like you already knew the other week. I was like, oh, wait a minute. How did, why is he talking like that? I really feel like you know, but I, I'm not going to say nothing. No, no, I don't know. I, but I heard, okay. I mean, I heard you say it, and then you had mentioned it or whatever. I think that's what it was, and I said something in the chat. Oh, uh, anyway, just because just yeah. you can't throw your name in the hat. And uh, maybe the love of logic one day. Who knows? But anyway, let me do this. Um, hold on. Let me do this super chat, guys. And y'all know this is the money line song. So y'all know what to do when the money line song come on. So this is Mr. Awesome. Thank you for the $10 super chat. It says mail, uh, mail improvement is mandatory for progress in business, grooming, discipline, ha habits, health, character, intelligence. I'm looking forward to these discussions without mention of women. Woo! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Want us Mr. Logic. Mr. Awesome, you get the money line song. Money line. I'm going to run it every time. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, 
so much, Ms. Um, Mr. Awesome. That is see, good. hey, secure the ball. See, yes, you know, that's what I said. Look at that. See, y'all attractive women. You got a panel full of men up here dancing. <laughs> yes. Is something wrong with that? <laughs> yeah, Listen, yeah. Don't, don't, don't start. Mean, don't start. Remember, but you be so serious. Yeah, but the thing is, like, your, your question confused me at first. That's why I was so confused. I was like, wait a minute. Here's the thing. I consider you like one of my mentors. Right. There, there, it's very seldom that I talk to you and don't learn something. Right. I, you know what I'm saying? And, and like Logic said, even though I never met your husband, I can see his imprint all over you. Right. It shows. You know what I'm saying? So never met the guy, but I got nothing but respect for him. Because I, I always promote him in marriage and right. in, in ones, but that's that's who I am though. That's my position. But there are women, like he said, okay, just put like this. You knew I was married, but if I came in and I had a shirt on with the cleavage all out and I had some extra ones and I had, you know, look just, at your husband sideways. No, you would be questioning the marriage situation. You'd be like, yeah, oh, yeah, I'd be looking at, no, I'd be looking at him sideways too. Like, bro, what are you doing? Right. Seriously? But look, look, Mr. Care Boss, be honest, right? Yes. Out of all these new to develop female channels, mm -hmm. I can think of only one. And I'm not including you because I, I put you in a different category. Well, thank you. So, I mean, no, because you really don't, you really don't do the, the you really just, you talk marriage. Yeah. So it, it's different. You talk marriage, you talk religion, you talk different stuff. So let's exclude you out of that. And even if we include you in it, though, you see how you dress on your panels? Yeah. It's only one other female that's in these spaces that I've seen that actually hold that high esteem. And I think that's the um, the uh, Cure Lady or something like that. Yes, she's like Kristen Cure. Kristen, yeah, Kristen yes. Cure, yeah. And the rest of them, you see. I'm, look, I'm good with they How about good. Chantel? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's yeah. the mentality that got us where we at, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna fly it till I got it. Ain't nobody gonna tell me what I can wear. Yeah, see, that's the same mentality. Now, as soon as I heard them say that, I said, "Okay, I already know yeah. that." And yeah. they look at you crazy when you when you say no to them. Like the discipline part. I mean, seriously, when you see when guys start mastering that, you're gonna be an animal. Like I turn this kind of stuff up down all the time. You throwing it at me like that? No, thank you. I don't want it. Why not? I think something wrong with it. So listen, let me let I, me share yeah, something. I told them to their face. Let me share something with, with um. Let me share something with y'all. Something things I didn't even know about myself until I got to the uh, YouTube platform. I've never been a social media person. You know, I've never done Facebook and I've never done Instagram until I got the channels. So I didn't know that that was different. You know, I just I just never do done it. So that plays a big part in my presentation because uh, I've never took interest in that. So, but because I'm an older woman, these women now that are doing what I'm doing, I don't know if they've had a choice to say that they never didn't do it because they grew up in the era of that's all you do. Well, so, the, the security thing, you yes. made a point in your last show, and I, I strongly suggest people go watch it how social media is influencing how they're doing it that we talked about. So, I really think that people should go back and watch that because they're influenced that this is the only way they can get attention. Um, so I think that that plays a big part. I, I just think they just need to get a swift kick of the ass. I mean, that's that's just weak to me. I can't stand that. I can't stand it. Social media doesn't influence any, anything. It's not real. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. You got to slow down, Mandrea, because I, I don't know what. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me complete my statement. It I'm goes sorry. back to <laughs> let me go back to what Logic is saying. Mm -hmm. um, Logic, that's a big difference. If you have I've never been influenced by that. And that's a huge influence to what Emmanuel was saying. I didn't realize that though until I got on these platforms, until I got into this space. I didn't realize it would be different for me. I thought it would be a disadvantage because people had already created their a space where people followed and people listen, like on these Facebook. I always hear about Facebook groups and I always hear about, you know, friends and things already following. So you, people already had a group, you know, people that would listen to them and knew them. I had none of that. But I thought I would be at a disadvantage. Now I see, though, that that was a benefit to me not to have that. But see, I lived and learned that. And I think we have to now I'm going backwards. Now I'm saying to people, this is how th I was created, not knowing I was being created this way. But this is something I did. Or didn't do, but didn't know I wasn't participating in something. So none of that stuff influenced me. So 
what I say is just me, whereas it's not influenced because I didn't take time to be influenced by those other things. The only thing I do relate to is the single girlfriends. And, and I tell you all about that all the time. But the social media part, I don't think women understand that that's such a huge influence on us because we yeah. do want to look good. We yeah. do. We do. Boss, you can you do it, though. I was looking at your little live stream, the other, not live stream, but it was your little <laughs> ad for the, the next chance of love or whatever it is. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. You cannot come over here and say it wrong. Let me let's slow down. I, I, well, that's what I, 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 I choose love. Oh, oh I, I choose you. Right? I choose you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Sorry, I go choose ahead. you. So right. now, now I'm gonna just use his ex example, right? Exactly. Use it. You was dressed, right? You was dressed like you was you was representing somebody other than yourself. And did now. And I, I, ch I challenge anybody. Like I told you, you know what I'm saying? It, it's books out there that talks about body language. And then you look at your body language, you look how you center your shoulder, or you cut your shoulder to the side, you look how you present yourself to an audience that's outside of your husband, and then now it shows that you're a respectable woman. I give credit to um, Anton's wife, that exact same thing. The energy she bring, the way she present herself, the way she kind of move. I mean, she kind of a younger version of you. She's going to be like you when, you know what I'm saying, like 10 years. Uh, so whatever. But you can see it. And I can just, I, I observe stuff like that. So that's what I go out to look to observe. So at the end of the day, these chicks out here know what they doing, secure the boss. And look, y'all ain't going to call them out because I know it's bad for business. And, and I don't know. How how, how does call, what does calling them out look like? I'm gonna give you an example. I, you maybe didn't watch my show the other day, but on Wednesday I had a young lady on, um, Lady J. Lady J's been married 20 years. Um, she's right at 40 years old, and I had her on because it was she had a special situation where her and her husband had been separated for three and a half years and got back together. Hold on, <laughs> Lady J, the one that was on that thumbnail. Yes. Come on, security boss, you just proved my point. No, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to work with you on the point. No, 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 no. I'm agreeing. That's why I said this. I'm saying that's what I'm saying. She's a married. That's what I'm saying, though. She has been married. That's the reason that I had her there, because she is a modern woman. She's traditional and modern, she says. And she has a husband and her husband, who is now, she said, very much so a Christian man. But the point is, they've been married for a very long time and they understand each other. But in her presentation, she's she's full makeup. I mean, she's she, you know, she, you know, she's presenting herself in a way that is not so conservative. She presents yeah. herself like a modern woman. Exactly. No, no, she, she presents herself like a chick that's for the streets with a ring. That's Amen. it. Amen. All, Amen. all that how it is. Mm. Thank you. Amen. I don't know and, 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 and no disrespect. What's her name? Uh lady, lady. Yeah, lady lady. Was, I, I saw the same exact thing. I couldn't even make it through your whole live stream. I couldn't. I you knew, called I, I her mashed. earlier today, and you, I, I couldn't make it through. I was like, no, no, thank you. You called her masculine. She's but, very, very masculine, and that and off-putting. <laughs> off-putting to me. Of all people, she's off-putting to me. I would not touch that chick with a ten-foot pole. Mm -hmm. I went, That's a chick I would avoid all. Not even a first date. No, thank you. But she has. A, go ahead. No, go she's ahead. She's married. Because what we're talking about, she is married. What we're talking about is the look of a woman, and we know sex sells. So most women are out here in revealing clothing. I feel like most women my age, honestly, probably don't even know what to dress like outside of that because that's all that's sold to us. We go to the store today, you ain't getting no regular shirt. All they got is crops. So that's what you're buying. Um, so I think for us, I think my question, which I kind of went on Six's uh platform, and I was trying to ask her this too, but she kind of didn't give me an answer. She just told me, like, don't look like your granny, basically. Um, but how do you merge the two? We're like, I'm still single, you know, so I will be out here, I will be dating or whatever. But how do I, how do you dress where it's like you still look appealing, but you don't look like nanny you know like i call my well, grandma what you wearing right the top you got on now is fine so this is like a, just a t-shirt i wouldn't wear this on a date no 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 but but wait this man, it's, look at what it's covering it's covering you don't have all the cleavage you know your girls ain't out like that 
you know, your stomach's covered. Just go with that framework when you look for another top. Just, you know, don't show it all. I'm like, that's cool. Look at and everything, but I'm looking for more than that. Where's the rest of you? This is this is the thing though, right? Is is for Tamika. You say you single, right? Mm -hmm. You represent yourself. So you represent yourself. So like and and like I can go on this for days. I, I I'm trying to write a paper about this. Like you in a different scenario, you represent yourself. So like what I'm saying, you got to understand. You got to understand what you want fully, and then now by you understanding what you want, you address accordingly. If you if you want to do for the streets, guess what you address like the streets. A woman for the streets. Yeah. If you, you want, you looking for a, you're looking but for she, a husband. What she's saying though you're is that like how does life. she's saying how does she make good selections to make her look like a nice lady? Because there's so many things that are out there that are. A negative to what her message is, what her message is that she's trying to put out there about herself. But what so type of message do you want? I, I think that I think she's that trying to put she, out. She's trying to put out. Go ahead, man. Think, go ahead. I think this is a perfect example where security boss, um, boss should be giving her advice on this. I think it's crazy, in my opinion, how we tell women not to speak on certain things but men we try to speak in that space all the time and i know people push back that but i think she should counsel with married women who got those results how can i carry myself this way so i can be approachable but also get the the desires that you got in my opinion it depends on the married woman because if it's a married woman that was on security bus platform <laughs> Tamika, i promise you i would pick you up all right, so listen, hold on, God. hold on for a minute. <laughs> Tamika, Tamika, I will tell I listen will tell you um, Tamika, I will tell you exactly what I do and what I've done since I was 19 years old. And logic did have a, a right answer for you, but it goes a little further than that. So y'all hold on for me because it is time, y'all. It is time to let you all know who the bachelorette will be for season one. So That's everyone right in the chat, are y'all ready for this? Mm-hmm. All right, here she is. Um, let's bring her up now. Hello, Bella. Oh, hey, Bella. Oh, it's Bella. Bella. All right, guys. Bella will be the bachelorette for the first season of I Choose You. So listen, be 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 Bella, go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself. Not too much. But more so about what you're looking for. We're gonna get these men excited and how find, let them find out how uh, they fit into your, you know, your idea of a bachelor. Okay, really quickly. I don't know if you can hear me, but I gotta run. I'm at a wedding, guys. But thank you, security boss. I'm so excited to start this new show, to pilot this new show. I'm so honored that she would choose me, and I'm looking for a really, really great guy. Um, he has to be very hardworking, really good character, um, integrity, and just all around great guy. So, um, yeah, that's it. But I got to run, guys. So. Can, he work at, can he work at Food Line? Bella, don't answer that. Don't answer those questions. <laughs> Bye. Can he work at Chick fil A for three months? We'll see you. We'll see you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Just three all months, right. just for the soft skills. That's, that's, all, that's it. All right. So, guys, y'all see it. Bella is the bachelorette for the first season. So <laughs> everybody knows. See, Mr. Logic, I felt like you had already peeped my game over there, but I'm glad I, I, you did. So, I, I had no idea. I, well, I met her in D.C. <laughs> I okay, know. That's, I, that's why I said that. I said, oh, my goodness. I bet he knows now. He knows. Yeah, I really, I mean, right, look, I'm going to tell you I that's thought you was going to break out here, right? Way. I thought you was going to bring Island Girl Q out here. I was like, Hell to the now, but no, I think that's what for your first. I, I think Bella is a good fit. I, I really do. You know what I'm saying? She's to be a good I thought, fit. I thought it was gonna be Bella. I thought it was gonna be Bella because she was she was on one. I think Anton profile, and she was letting like ten dudes holler. I said she gonna be the first one. She getting a practice in. Anton trying to get a practice in for these twenty. All that's right, so video. hold on for this. Wait for this. Take a look at this video. Tell me what you think. I'm actually new into your city, so are you are you born here or are you are you new to the city as well? No, this is my city. 
this your city. Hold on. I, I don't know my way around. Let me start it over so y'all can hear it. One second. Let's see what we got here. All right. Um, hold on, hold on. Let me make You don't need a man, but it sure would be nice. It's not going to work. So anyway, guys, we can't get it loud enough for you all. So anyway, this all came from the shooter shot. So, uh, E-Man, you are exactly right. Um, that, that, I'm sorry about the sound, guys. We can't get it loud enough right now, but we're going to work on that. And if we can, we'll bring it back up. But it's coming from the Anton Daniels, one of the fight club nights. <laughs> yeah. and Bella, Bella was the shoot the shot girl that night. So um, I would love to have Alan Q. And I actually love to have Tamika. Hold, hold up. I got to get somebody credit. She was not the first shoot the shot girl. What do you mean? It was actually, it was actually healing wellness force i don't oh, know her we, really i didn't yeah. see her she was a, no because it was it was done it was done two weeks before that one was done oh okay yeah, i don't I know, know her i'm happy yeah, that, that's, that's that's that, that's how it actually started because oh um, I, know, I didn't remember i didn't see her at all yeah yeah it was, it was two weeks before that because i was shooting my shot at, i was shooting my shot at healing wellness force so and then it kind of it came became a trend. Wait, and what did I she say, Logic? Huh? What did she say? Like how how did you, how did you not snag that one? No, <laughs> look, I told y'all I ain't for the streets, man. Y'all, I don't know. Well, why. Here's the thing: she, from what she told me, from what she told me when I talked to her, she wasn't looking for much. I mean, so I'm like, what, why why aren't you uh, talking to her right now? I mean, no, I just wonder. I uh, I, I I see. I can see the telltale signs. I can see the telltale signs oh, too. That's why. Uh, exactly. That's why I'm not. Oh, yeah. I feel like all women are gonna have telltale signs. Uh, uh, anyway, no. we go. Uh, listen, guys. Uh, who, who, who who all, but... So, for those of you who don't know Bella, I mm. met Bella over on the late night live, and she's gonna be the first bachelorette. We're gonna have updates on Security Boss Unsolicited. So if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do to get those updates. Put on that notification bell so you can um, find out how you can definitely qualify and uh, actually be a part of the show. We're looking for 20 eligible bachelors. Now, I don't want just 20 to, you know, we want as many as possible because we will be picking our bachelor from the bachelorette show. So, so you know, whoever she doesn't pick, we're probably we're going to pick from those to be the next um I choose you, Bachelor. So, hey, is you gonna make them, is you gonna make them submit a video, a video submission? Um, we it, it may be live because uh oh I didn't say this part, but myself and Aaron O will actually be doing the vetting initially, the initial vetting. You know, so what's gonna happen is at, during the month of April we're gonna have uh, about five bachelors each show, but. In order to become a, the tw a part of the 20, you have to um, actually come through me and Aaron in the beginning. So um, we're going to be basing it on certain things. I'm not going to say what they are, but then really? the live, I'm not, I can't say right now. But be, like, be, I have a question. I, I, I've been waiting for you to get this out, Security Busters. I got a what's, question. Right? What's your question? So Aaron O don't believe in marriage, right? Like right. He, I guess. So, you didn't tell me that, but okay. He's just unsure. He, he don't. He don't. He he, he believes in shacking up. All right. So. Oh, uh, you a hater! Stop! Stop! We been. No, wait a minute. Are you he saying? Wait a minute. Oh. Has he said that? Such wait a minute, no. E man, let's be honest about this. Has he said he does not believe in marriage? No. Well, what this is what he said. He said that the reason that he believe in long term relationship because he's unsure why he should be married, but he's not willing to be sure on why to get married like he's not really looking at, in detail I, I, matter of fact i'm gonna let it go he can come on tonight and i had this conversation with him tonight because i i want i want him to feel like i'm talking behind his back but he, he well, that's what I'm to say why don't you accept him for where he is because guess what this is how it works i even i told logic when i met logic initially he was trying to catch me up on a late night live you remember that logic oh say that again I say, I said, the way I met you, you were trying to catch me up on a late night live one night. Do you remember that? I very first my shot? You, no, you weren't trying to shoot no shot. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, see, you know, I'm trying to figure what do catch up mean? You were saying, because the question I think started with E Man. E Man, do you remember that? You had a question about uh, 
uh, do I want a man? Did I want a man who made millions versus uh, an average guy or something like that? And I said, no, I would rather have the average man that I could build with. And you said, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, I, I, I said, wait a minute. <laughs> yes, okay. I'm just saying this. I remember that. I was there. I, I, told that. I, I actually that. apologize because I was thinking about Aaron L. Mm. Aaron O is the host at night, right? Yeah. Right. yeah. Aaron L is the one who just doesn't. Does, I, doesn't see yeah, the point in marriage. I, I apologize to Aaron because both of them name is Aaron, and I was thinking about Aaron L, not Aaron O. The whole okay, now you're right. Aaron L I does apologize. not believe in marriage as of today. You're right. Aaron so, yeah. O, well, I got you. Yeah, so I apologize because I, I had those two mixed up, and when I started reading the comments, I realized that they was talking about somebody different. So I I, I do take that statement back. So yeah, but, my. Uh, I, 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 I gotta go. I gotta go secure the boss. But if you need some ideas on this, I actually did this on YouTube five years ago. What did you do? You uh, did the dating show? Yeah, it was called YouTube Love Connect. So I did. I did this. I only did like probably like two iterations of it though. Was so it successful? I, that again? Was it successful? Was uh, it successful? Uh, no, because you got it, this. This community here is more balanced. So okay, gotcha. I, uh, it, it was like it was too many. You can't have a hood dude with a chick that you know what I'm saying that uh working <laughs> corporate that ain't gonna work. So, but uh, I got some uh, I can send you some stuff that actually that I saw proven to be okay. successful. So okay. if you need that, and uh, if you can send me that contact information for Tamika, Tamika, I give you some homework. And then if you don't complete the homework, then I never want to see you say nothing to me again in the chat ever. Mm-hmm. I I block you. Uh, you so hard hey. on me. Whatever. Gosh, he is harsh. I'll talk to you soon. So um, going back to what was that? Who was that question? Email. Okay, so anyway, let me tell you guys. Let me just catch you up. We're trying to find 20 in each each Friday night. The show will be live here on Friday nights. We will choose five men, and then it's going to be three to five men. It all depends on how this falls out, but they're going to be vetted. We're going to have questions for them, and Bella will also be there, and we're also going to be depending on the chat to make a decision on who's the best one to pick from that night. Best contestant per night. We're going to have three nights or three Fridays. We do it before we have the finale. We're looking for the best uh, bachelor per Friday night. And we're going to have help from the chat, myself and Aaron O. And then, of course, Bella. Bella's is the final decision, though. She gets to choose. And that particular person from the first Friday night, They'll be in the finale. Then we do the same thing that second week, the third week. Then on the fa- finale, there will be three men. At that time, the judges would be myself, Anton Daniels, and Aaron O. We're going to be choosing. We're going to choose who we think would be the best bachelor for her. But again, the chat is going to be choosing also. But then ultimately, she gets to choose who will be the best. And it's going to be like a vetting process. You all will see the live vetting that we'll do. Um It'll be all live. The questions that we ask, things of that nature, I hopefully it'll be helpful for someone, you know, to get those answers. And then we're going to need y'all to help us figure out who the imposters are or who the chameleons are. So it's going to be fun as a different uh, aspect to, what, to dating, of course. And um, hope everybody participates. But that's actually what it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Imposter. He's right I there. Don't know, I don't know where you're pointing at me. I'll never get past security boss and Aaron. <laughs> Why are you saying that? I'm it's not, I'm not, it already, I mean, it's not up to us. But if we say no to you, we will be telling you why we say, you know, that you may know why we say, but it's up to Bella. She gets to choose. Like, Mandrell, you need to uh, still work on them soft skills. Hey, have you been to Chick fil A like I told Wait you? Wait a minute. Wait that, a minute. That's that's a <laughs> Mandrell, did yes, you go to Chick fil A like I told you? Hey, security boss. Like, no, ma'am. Well, go to Chick fil A. Then you can be on the All show. Right. All right, E man. Listen, thank you for your input. We'll see you soon. Yeah. All right, guys. So, listen, um, thank y'all so much for that. Tamika, I'm going to um, talk to you definitely. But before we go, listen, I've been here right at two hours. I don't like to keep y'all long. I know it's Friday night and I know y'all got a lot to do and we got a lot of I places. I got barbershop to go. conversations here. Yep. By the way, yep. I mean, I mean, Tamika. Mm-hmm. Me well, this is not, wait a minute. This is, not shoot, this is not shoot your shot Friday, okay? I'm not shooting my shot at your show security, but also I just asked for contact information. That's why, does Tamika, why does Tamika need to put her uh, IG in the back chat? What's well, going on here? That's not important. 
I, I have to keep that one close to the chest. Oh I'll God. tell you about it later, though. <laughs> I mean, he's a oh single God. businessman looking for love. That's why. Oh my God, he gonna be looking. Listen, I can't even trust him from week to week. How he gonna be? Good? <laughs> I may not see Tamika for another three weeks or so. You gotta take the opportunity when it comes. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right. So listen, guys. Again. Like Mr. Body say shooting shots. There you go. Look, he, everybody calling you out already. You Mr. can't even Logic, wait. I, I'm not shooting Logic. shots, Mr. Logic. What do you mean? Uh, anyway, so listen, guys, this has been an outstanding show. Um, make sure you all participate in the I Choose You. Do you all have any final words y'all want to leave us with before we go? Uh, I'll make it quick. What you are doing is excellent. Just remember, First Peter chapter 3, verse 1 to 6. You are the elder to teach the younger generation how to conduct themselves properly. Other than that, doing an excellent job. I receive that. I receive that. And I receive that. Thank you so much, Canadian born. Thank you for being here. Mr. Steele, you have something you want to add today? Uh, yeah. One last thing I do want to say is that, you know, when you listen to an advice from a woman, you want to make sure that no one of her attentions are right. You know, that, she, you know, she's not trying to overpower, you know, the man. And number two, when you listen to advice, you want to make sure it is authentic as well. Very good. I agree with you wholeheartedly. Black man, are you there? All right, Mandrill, you got some last words you want to leave us with? Thank you for having me on your platform, Security Boss. I got to go to the barbershop conversations in about a half hour. And, um, it's so different. Yeah, you hear from me soon, both of you. <laughs> All right. All right, Mandrill. Tamika, you got something you want to say before we go? Um, just thank you for your platform, Security Boss. Um, I'm gonna be tuning in more. I'm excited for the uh, you said it's the love connection. What's it called? No, it's called I Choose You. I Choose You. I'm excited about the show, I think it's gonna be good. So, you guys have a great night. All right, thank you all. And, chat, I got one more thing tomorrow oh. at 2 p.m. Tech Talk at my channel. We'll have a talk about content creator burnout, which is a series of burnout. So, um, I hope you guys show up at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Eastern time, it'll be educated, it'll be impactful. It's no shenanigans, it's about real people, it's about real issues. So that's 2 p.m. Tech Talk with Canadian Born. Also, all right, thank you guys so much. And listen, like I said, chat, y'all have been outstanding tonight. I appreciate you all. Y'all stay tuned for more I Choose You. And uh, if y'all want to get in contact with me, y'all know the DMs. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in contact with me, and I'll see you soon.